everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kitty Mary and today mm -hmm, we are finally going to film another cleaning zero waste sustainable cleaning home routine vlog. Yay! I haven't done one of these since I moved into this apartment which is a little bit embarrassing. Um, I have cleaned, <laughs> okay? I have cleaned since I moved into this apartment many times, um, but I haven't filmed it for some reason. Anyway, I am excited to get started. I love cleaning the entire house like this. It's very therapeutic. Usually Jens and I, we have divided our chores in terms of maintaining the household 50-50, but because of today's occasion, I am taking over so I can show you guys everything will possibly get him to do something too and then I can just film it while I do nothing. That's also pretty good. Anyway, let's do this, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna start cleaning the bathroom. I don't know if I'll have to come back to this in two days and then finish the vlog of cleaning. Bear with me if that's the case, but we're going to at least do the bathroom now because I've been wanting to do it for such a long time and it's getting critical. And um, so we have some cotton cloths here, then I have a little natural sponge which is great and then I have a slightly more rough cloth and this is from Lavinia by the way. It's made in India in a workshop that empowers women and it works so well. I have my toilet cleaner, this is from a bulk store, yes. Then I have some natural vinegar, then I have, this is what I use to scrub especially like the pores and surfaces with. And then my overall cleaner for the bathroom is this. This is my universal cleaner, I use this for basically everything. So what it is, is that it is one of these small peplets and then it's diluted in water and then that's the cleaning product. It works like a charm, it's so nice. I would also recommend using lemon on really sticky stains because that works so well. I hate that. Also behind here, yeah. Our ventilation system in here is broken so the moisture builds up. Let's remove this. I'll start by using a lemon honestly. Just getting it all in there, because you're not ready for this. Okay, uh-huh. Next, let's go over everything with the universal cleaner. Now let's clean the toilet. And I use a natural toilet cleaner brush to distribute everything. Now look at this difference. Oh, this is so satisfying. The last thing I do in the bathroom is use this cloth to scrub the toilet. And after that, this is definitely going in the wash. Also changing my toilet paper. If anyone was wondering, the toilet paper I use is from Green Cane. This part, the very noisy part, is a plant-based cellophane, which is pretty neat. And other than that, this is made from recycled sugar cane and bamboo. Love to see it. The sink in the kitchen will also just get a nice little lemon scrub right here. Now sometimes I will actually just use my normal dishwashing soap, um, but I also really, really do like the results with this one. It sort of depends on the stain and how long it's been since I cleaned the last time. Um, but this is also really, really nice. Also from Bulk. Yeehaw. Hello guys, as I predicted, I didn't get to finish the cleaning vlog yesterday, it's now tomorrow because I had to go to Unze to give a talk, you know, I have to do my in real life job. I had to give a talk about zero waste to 350 students, it was actually really great. But now I'm back home, well rested and I'm ready to continue the cleaning vlog. The apartment also needs it. So after I came home last night, I just sort of exploded so we'll have to put everything back in its place um if you come with me here for a second i made a mess i made a mess several places today another mess that we need to deal with so the next point of action <laughs> in this cleaning vlog is getting everything in order However, I can't really make the bed today because Molly is having a whole vibe there. So I'll just start by placing all the clothing items over here. Oh, okay, also just shoes, nice. They go there too. Also just my taekwondo uniform lying around everywhere, cool. Now everything has been put into place. 
I sort of try to color coordinate my drawers. So here we have like lighter shades and blue and here we have darker shades, black and red. And uh, up here we have tons of accessories. We have scarves, belts, hats and bags. And in here everything that sort of needs to be on a hanger and Jens and I, we share this space. I also need to put some things back into place here because I brought most of my beauty stuff with me to work. Um, and I just found one of my clip-ons with my concealer on it. So they've been lying just right on top of it. That didn't help at all. Okay, but let's fix this up. So, Soap from the hotel room that I brought back home so it didn't go to waste. Okay, so dishes. I don't even think this is dirty, honestly. So that's just going... Go ahead. That's just going back in the pantry. Just changed into something that resembles an outfit just a tiny bit more. Um, my favorite thing to clean ever is definitely the stove. I think it is so satisfying. And when I clean the stove, I just use a normal cotton knitted, actually crocheted cotton cloth. And then I just use my normal dish soap and that's basically it, but it's just so satisfying. Definitely one of the highlights of my cleaning routine, but now it's time to dust and then we will vacuum. Alrighty yo. And for dusting, I am using a very old-fashioned, almost stereotypical looking duster. I got this pre-vegan. I wouldn't get this now. I would possibly look for a vegan alternative, simply using something else and not getting it at all, just using a cloth. But now like I have this, so I use it. And it is quite neat, honestly, but it's made with ostrich feather. So I wouldn't get this now at all. But now that it's here, let's go dust. You know, the neat thing about it is that you don't need to remove all your things and it's so lightweight. So it can go in between all these crevices, all the things that I have on my shelves without I need to, to remove like everything. So that's, it's, it's honestly pretty, pretty handy. Like, look how it goes. Okay. So do you know those things that you don't necessarily notice throughout your normal everyday life, but then when you begin to clean something, you end up hyper-focusing on a thing that you've never ever thought about. And now you can just see how dirty and frustrating it is. That's where I am at mentally right now. That's where I'm at with our radiator right now. I'll show you, okay. This I haven't noticed in ages. And look at it. Look at all the dust right there. In comparison, I just cleaned it over here. Um, excuse me. You have no business being this dirty. And I can see the dirt is also really stubborn, so it's been there for a long time. No shade to Jens whatsoever, we love him, but I don't think he's ever done this, honestly. Like just cards on the table. I think I'll ask him when he gets home. This is too funny. Now the last point on the agenda today in terms of cleaning is vacuuming. And in my previous cleaning videos, I've showed my vacuum cleaner, which has been a secondhand bagless vacuum cleaner, which is by far what I will recommend to everybody. First of all, getting electronic equipment like the second hand, Ace, and also getting something that's bagless where you simply just take out this compartment, empty it, and then put it back. And then you avoid the bag, which will be waste, extra waste, where we don't need it. Right now, I actually don't have a bagless vacuum cleaner because the one that I've shown you before broke during the move, which was really unfortunate. So now we're using Jens's, it's an old thing. I have a feeling it might be older than me. It definitely has early 90s, late 80s energy. It's been around for a long time and once it gives up completely, we will be looking for a new secondhand backless option, but we will use this for as long as possible. But let's vacuum because I have seen dust bunnies many places in this apartment recently. And uh, please don't judge me. <laughs> Just removing a lot of stuff from the floor so I can get access because look. Oh yeah, all of this, this is no good.
Look at that, the sun decided to join us. Oh, that's lovely. Also, Moles is standing still like she's a deer in the forest. It's like, what is up, Molly? She's just looking at me like I'm a weirdo. You're the weirdo. Right now we are on my living room floor because we have to clean this rug. This rug is the place where all Molly's hair, fur, all my long hair sort of accumulates. And I feel like, I don't know if anyone else can relate to this, but I feel like that in our home there is definitely an epicenter where it all accumulates. And it's the same spot every time. And this rug is definitely it. And I found that it's not necessarily that effective to try and vacuum it because the hairs are all so ingrained, like they're so deep down in the rug that it takes ages to vacuum. So instead, I have these sneakers from Meret and I use them to clean the rug and I've done that ever since I got them. I love them, they're great. Also for cleaning, they have this pattern underneath and I don't know what it's about, but it just grabs all the hairs and the fur. So these are my vacuum shoes. I put them on my hands <laughs> and then I clean my rug like this. <laughs> Please let me know in the comments if anyone else is doing this. Please let there be a community for shoe cleaners. I put my shoes on. This is insane. And then I sort of just, look! This was just a few strokes. My vacuum cleaner cannot do this, I promise you. So let's see if we can get like a decent sized fur ball, hair ball out of this. This is the result of about three minutes worth of cleaning with the shoes. Look at this. The way I know I said that the sun came out to join us, but like I spoke too soon, I guess. The last thing I want to do is that I want to wash all of my towels as well as my bed sheets, just for that really fresh feel. Anyway, what I wanted to mention quickly as well, and I hope that the rain isn't too distracting now, is that if you want to know more about my sustainable zero waste laundry routine, I both have a video all about that and a blog post as well, and I'll leave those down below. But like now I'm done with the cleaning. I feel so great. It feels amazing. You know, cleaning for me is definitely also some sort of mental self-care. I love that. Usually, and I think I mentioned this earlier in the video as well, Jens and I, we had split the chores of cleaning 50-50, but because of this video, I sort of took over and did most of the things while he's at work. But normally I don't do all this constantly. I would lose my mind. But before we end this video, let's do like a little my apartment is clean now montage. you like this video if you have any other zero waste cleaning recommendations leave them down below if you have any tips that you think i should try out leave them down below that would be really really super duper helpful also go watch the other ones if you want more context or if you want to see how i've done it in the past as well they're still available i'll leave them down below as well thank you so much for watching have an amazing day and take really good care of yourselves until next time bye Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys helped me create green zero waste content and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye! There we are! So I have a question to ask you. What? Have you ever cleaned like in between the radiator? Have you ever? In Like on top of it? Yeah, yeah, on top of it! I've cleaned there while you've lived here. <laughs> Oh, damn. Th then I have nothing. Okay, then I have nothing. <laughs>